In Jeremiah 37, we see kind of the, the dark days of the people of Judah. And you say, well, what do you mean by that? Let me read to you verse 2 about King Zedekiah, the man in charge, the man in command. Look at what he's doing with his position. But neither he, speaking of the king, nor his servants, nor the people of the land, gave heed to the words of the Lord, which he spoke by the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah was giving words to the people, to the king, to the leadership from God, but they stopped listening. But you know what's interesting is things seem to change once they throw Jeremiah in jail. Let me read verse 16 and 17 to you. It says this, When Jeremiah entered the dungeon and the cells, and Jeremiah had remained there many days, then Zedekiah, the king, sent and took him out. And the king asked him secretly in his house. And he said, Is there any word from the Lord? And Jeremiah said, There is. Then he said, You shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon. That's the same word he was speaking publicly. But here's the interesting thing. The king thought, well, maybe God will give me a, a secret word, a special word, one just for me. You know, as I began to think about that, I, I referenced a friend's commentary. It's called the Enduring Word Commentary by David Guzik. Let me read to you what David says about this. I found it intriguing. He says this, Zedekiah made the mistake of thinking there was a personal secret word for him from God, different from what he had already been revealed in God's word. Even his written word from Jeremiah, the secret word was completely consistent with the written word. And David makes this statement. He said, God may bring a personal word to an individual, but a secret word should not be sought. Seek God in his written word. I love this about Jeremiah. He's in the dungeon, things are dark, but he decidedly stays the course to preach God's word. And I would encourage you to, to not necessarily look for a, uh, a sign in the sky, uh, 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 and a dynamic where your liver begins to shiver and that's how you know God is speaking to you. I would encourage you to be a person of the book. Get to know God's written word. God may speak to you personally. That's true. He can do that. But it will never be in competition or contradiction to God's written word. So today, get to know God's word. It's how he desires to speak to you.